Hi, I'm Tim and welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at one of my favorite installments in the Breitling for Bentley series, now running for 13 years, Breitling for Bentley 6.75 Chronograph. This is a fantastic watch that combines an outstanding color palette with these deep coffee or even chocolate tones with a set, like almost a chocolate bronze dial, silvered accents, and high polished steel, a gorgeous fundamental color palette with an allusion to one of the most iconic and outstanding and enduring automotive classics of the 20th and early 21st century, the Rolls-Royce Bentley 6.75 liter V8, a real powerhouse. And we'll talk a little bit about both of those today. But first and foremost, whenever you're introducing a 49 millimeter watch, I think the best thing to do is just show a wrist shot. Because if you can't wear the watch, everything else is kind of trivial. Now on my wrist, which is six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, I'm going to be honest, I think this thing looks like a Bentley on my wrist. It's just that big. It has a ton of presence. I do think perhaps it overwhelms. I, I would say that this one requires a six and a half inch wrist minimally. Now, I'm going to state that the watch is also comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. It's not unsecure. I just think that there's a bit of lug overhang going on here. But I love everything about the look and feel of this watch. And if you're in love with it, by all means, if you're into the big watch look, this watch will wear securely on a smaller wrist. I just think my taste being relatively smaller watches, proportionally it leaves something to be desired. But again, if you're one of those guys who likes the big watch look, or if you feel that you can't get a watch that's big enough for your wrist, I've got the answer to your prayers right here. Because this 49mm high polished behemoth, this Bentley for your wrist, looks the part. It's got a ton of presence. It's got class. It's got mass. And a big part of that is that subdued color palette. Now, I talked about the chocolate bronze tones of the dial, and that's very much the star of the show here. You can see the watch has a polished case. It has a machine-turned bezel, highly knurled on its flanks, machine-turned in a, actually engraved in a sort of diamond plate pattern reminiscent of vintage Bentley dashboards. This thing has a lot going on visually, but it's not overwhelming. At 49 millimeters, it has the dial and the bezel real estate to make all of that detail work. And I find that it has a technical aesthetic that's really a throwback to the days when the inside of a road racing car was nothing but, you know, quote, steam gauges. Old fashioned analog calibrated instruments designed for no nonsense driving and racing. That's the vibe I'm getting from this Breitling. It also has a fine detail, which is that grand date at 12 o'clock. That's a nice complication. I really like the look of a double digital date. I feel like it adds some majesty here, and it's a bit of a throwback. Again, for a watch that's referencing a company that made its name in racing in the 20s and 30s, a little bit of a vintage vibe is a very good thing. Highly appropriate, well executed. Now, the strap is highly bolstered with a contrasting white stitch, and with this Breitling for Bentley deploying clasp, when it shuts, not only is it very secure, but it's also seamless. You take a look at that, there are no strap minders here, and that's a real highlight of the design. Although it's big, it's also nuanced, and little details like that, that seamless clasp and strap combination, that grand dat at 12 o'clock, the beautiful segue of the engraved bezel into that dished, you could see the circular slide rule, but you can see how the outer layer of it is dished, and it slopes downward towards the inner calibrations, the applied indexes, and the center of the dial. You can see how there's a separate chapter ring, a separate polished chapter ring around each of these sub-registers. There's a tremendous attention to detail and subtlety and nuance about this watch. As big as it is, it's also small in many ways. Small in the sense that all of the small details have been sweated out. Nothing was overlooked. This is a carefully crafted watch. It's not a broadsword. It's both a broadsword and, you might even say, a dagger. The broadsword and the dagger, the katana and the tanto, all in one. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Everything all the time. And that's a great thing, because when you're looking at a watch that purports to be a Bentley for your wrist, a Bentley is big, a Bentley is bold. And that brings us back to that six and three quarter liter V8, that iconic engine. From the mid-1950s to, I want to say about 2011, when I think it went out on the Brooklyn's Coupe, that engine was an icon of British motoring. It was a symbol of excess, and that's what, that's what luxury is about. It's about getting more than you expect, more than you need. You get that in this Breitling for Bentley 675 chronograph, and you've got that in that old 
Bentley V8, which, by the way, started out with less than 200 horsepower and turbocharged and intercooled in 2011. It went out rip snorting 530 horsepower and 775 pound feet of torque. So, just as that engine evolved with the times, with the styles of the times, the Breitling aesthetic has evolved with the times. And I really feel like the combination of this classical 49mm Breitling case, remember, they developed that case in the late 60s for the old big Navitimers, so it's not like this is a modern affectation that's just suddenly been pulled out of a mold. This case has been around for a long time, and it started as a pilot's navigational instrument, and it evolved into a luxury driving product. And you can see on the evolution of the circular slide rule exactly what that means. Now, all of the indications are hours, minutes, and seconds. And the bottom line is that on the original Navitimer, they were units associated with aviation rates. The way the slide rule works is actually the inverse of the way the traditional Navitimer slide rule works. So I'm not going to create a confusing tutorial. Just note that everything from the style of the case to the intent of this 49 millimeter model to the very calibrations and units of the slide rule have been updated to suit the times and the tastes and the theme of the watch. It's a great example of horological evolution, and I feel that as a co-branding concept, Breitling for Bentley, big, bold wrist instruments really works thematically because the watch is so well done. Again, it may not be to every taste, but this is a watch that's eager to court controversy. Just as that 18-foot-long Bentley Brooklyn's is almost mind-boggling in its size and excess, so is this Breitling for Bentley 675 chronograph. It's also a tremendous instrument if you want to use it. The slide rule, the chronograph, the automatic winding caliber, which is a COSC chronometer, all fantastic pieces. Everything functions exactly as it should. And I'm even going to mention that the watch, functionally, as a chronograph, is probably bigger and more visible than average precisely because it is so large. The legibility, the size of the indications, the length of the chronograph seconds hand in particular make this a very easy watch to read. And in spite of the many technical calibrations on the dial, it's also a very easy watch on which to tell conventional time. Basically, this is a watch that is going to polarize people. There are going to be the loves, there are going to be the hates, and each one is going to be passionate about its opinion. But what no one can deny is the fundamental quality of the design, the finishing, and the underlying watchmaking. Nor can anyone dispute the thematic consistency between the larger-than-life Bentley line and this larger-than-life Breitling for Bentley line. Now, as you saw, it's also larger than my wrist. But if you want to get a better sense of the size, the proportions, and the detailing of this Breitling for Bentley 675 chronograph, I encourage you to check out the high-resolution images of this watch with its 100% complete Breitling factory set on our website, Watch You Want.